in Spanish for it. They have been working on a paving yeah. project around the Eastern Shore Shopping Center. If you drive around that area for almost a year now, you know. Got it both hands on the steering wheel when you drive through there. The project, of course, has been a lot of inconvenience for shoppers and other people living in the area. But as Fox News Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick found out, people just need to be a little bit more patient a little bit longer. <laughs> this is what Eastern Shore Boulevard looked like last July. The private road was riddled with potholes and the impact from underground springs flowing onto the street was only making a bad situation worse. At the beginning, it was a lot of potholes and stuff. Definitely a lot smoother, I could tell. Um, at first it was a little rough and you had to somewhat drive in the middle. The shopping center, which originally had one owner, now has a dozen. And even though the road isn't Spanish Fort's responsibility, the city realized it would need to step in to fix the problem. We had to uh, use the Cooperative Improvement District funds to get it done. Therefore, we're not using the city of Spanish Fort taxpayers' money to do a private road. 1% of every retail sale at the Eastern Shore Center goes directly to the Cooperative Improvement District, or CID. The total cost for the project is just shy of $4 million. Moving forward, money going into the CID fund will pay for maintenance and future infrastructure projects. The paving contractor is now focused on getting the last section finished on Eastern Shore Drive. Driving should get back to normal soon. What's going to happen next? They're going to finish milling this area right through here, put the rock out, put a preliminary surface on there, and within 30 days, they'll put the final surface on there and all the striping for the perimeter road and the road right here in front of Publix. Now, once the paving project is done, another contractor will come in and do landscaping all through the medians and put new lights up on both roads. That will take several more months to finish. Live in Spanish Fort, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.